Hi, I'm Grant Wiley from Worthington Games, and I just wanted to uh, do a video update for y'all, video newsletter. I know I've done a lot of written newsletters, but I wanted to do a video newsletter to give y'all a, a different feel um, and to give you a little face to go with the voice. Um, first, I'm Grant Wiley from Worthington Games, if you don't know me. Um, hopefully, I've met a bunch of y'all at some of the conventions. Wanted to thank everybody for their support on our reprint of Hearts and Minds on Kickstarter. Uh, that was just finished successfully today, and we will be reprinting this hopefully within the next uh, 90 to 120 days. Hopefully by August 1st we'll have this out in the reprint with a larger mounted board. Um, the old board was cardstock, uh, worked well enough, but it was 11 by 25. Uh, the new board will be 25, 22 by 34, so it'll be double the width of this and another nine inches length. We're going to be expanding the play areas, um, which some people, folks complained about was too small, and we'll be going to two sheets of 11 uh, 7 8 inch counters. Um, so we'll be upticking the components on this, and I really want to thank everybody for their support on the Kickstarter. Wanted to give you a couple other project updates. Um, Frederick's War is at the printers being printed now, as of today, April 6, 2013. Um, we should have that in the next two to three weeks and start shipping. That's still available for pre-order pre on our website, www.worthingtongames.com. Hope we didn't give you too many W's there. Um, following that, we're going to be doing Gettysburg. And I wanted to give you an update on Gettysburg. Um, Gettysburg is coming along great. We are done with it. We just finished the final uh, counter, sending them the files to the printer in Richmond. We've already gotten a proof back of the box. Sean Cook, our graphic artist, has done a great job on this. This is just a uh, mock-up of the box for us to proof and make sure all the everything's in the right spot. Um, I think that looks really good. Uh, the board, I think Sean's done a spectacular job on, um, and. The reason I'm showing you this is I want to give you an idea on where we're going with Worthington Games going forward and how we're trying to support, um, give you the best bang for your buck. Because that's really what it's all about, making playable games that are fun and enjoyable and you feel like you're getting some quality in the box when you, you plunk down your dollars. Um, this is a board of Gettysburg. Sean Cook, our graphic artist, did it. Uh, this is just a proof from the artist. Uh, from the printer, just making sure again that we've got everything in the right spots. That Cemetery Hill is not north of Gettysburg, you know, it's down here to the south. So we got everything right there. Um, the board will be this big or, or roughly this big. You're going to lose this cutoff part down here, but it's going to be a mounted game board. Uh, we're going to a, a, we're trying to go mounted with all of our boards now at, Gettys, at Gettysburg, at Worthington Games as much as possible. Um, if it's 25 inches or less in length, we're trying to go mounted. If it's 22 by 34, depending on the cost the printer gives us and our print run, we're going to try and do mounted. Uh, and if we don't, we're going to let you know. But we're trying to go mounted. This is your map for Gettysburg. Uh, Gettysburg 150 is obviously to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Gettysburg. It's going to come with uh, two sheets of 7 8, 7 8 inch counters, um, the mounted game board. Um, eight page rule and scenario book you're going to get four scenarios plus the campaign game in that and the campaign game is playable in two to three hours um, we wanted to do a playable game of Gettysburg it's based on the hold the line system but it's been tweaked you actually get the named um, divisions and half divisions for the for the uh, confederates named divisions for the union so you got an 18 infantry for the union You've got 19 for the Confederate with the half divisions and, and, and you know, a little bit of cavalry You're, um, and artillery thrown in. You're at about 30 to 35 pieces a side. Scenarios are playable in an hour. We've got the uh, July 1st, 2nd, 3rd scenarios, as well as a little round top scenario is probably playable in about 20 minutes. Uh, the full campaign is playable in probably two to three hours, depending on how fast or slow you play. Um, that's still available for pre-order on our website for 45 The retail is going to be 65 on that. Um, and that's a real nice package we're putting together. Um, comes with the board, two sheets of counters, eight-page rule and scenario book, and um, three dice, um, and game box.
and it's a substantial, it's going to be a nice mounted board um, that looks real nice. Following that, and to let you know a little bit of our family history, last name Wiley, it goes traces back to Scotland. And next year it's the 700th anniversary of the Battle of Bannockburn. Uh, the English the Scots against the English. So of course, being the true Scotsman, we've got to do the Battle of ba ba Bannockburn. And the game is called Scotland Rising. Uh, it's the Battle of Bannockburn. This is again a mock up of the board we've already had printed. Um, and it will portray the Battle of Bannockburn. It uses, again, the Hold the Line system, but we've tweaked it. If you've ever played Hold the Line or you get a chance to play Frederick's War or Clash for Continent, you know how that system works. Uh, the firepower is based on the unit firing. When Scotland Rising, you're dealing with different situation, medieval warfare, your hit numbers, the, the number you need to roll to hit the unit, is actually based on the defending unit. It's easier to hit an archer than it is a knight. A knight is armored. Um, they're better, better trained for warfare. Um, it's easier to hit a pikeman than a knight, but it's easier to hit an archer than a pikeman. So the hit numbers are based on that. It's a fast playing game on the Battle of Bannockburn. It'll play in an hour to an hour and a half. Um, uh, one sheet of counters, mounted game board again. We're going mounted. Uh, and that's our goal with all of our games, like I said, when we can and it's cost feasible to you. Um, one last word before uh, uh, um, we print in America. We print in the United States, we print in the state of Virginia. Our main printer uh, is about 15 minutes from our, uh, each of our houses. Um, we can go there, we can check production. Um, our other printer is actually located in Richmond, Virginia, about an hour, hour and 15 minute ride away. We're keeping all of our printing done here in the United States, supporting American workers. Um, our goal is to give you the finest American-made games in the country. Finest American made war games were going mounted, we're going nice quality boxes. Uh, the dice we're buying from company in New York. Um, our goal is to, to produce the finest playable American games out there. Um, again, go to Facebook, like us on our Facebook, we're Worthington Games on Facebook. Our website is www.worthingtongames.com. Uh, come on Facebook, give us a shout, let us know if you like this new video format that I'm doing um, or if you like receiving the, um, the written newsletter. If you don't get our written newsletter, send me an email at wg at worthingtongames.com and I'll be sure to add you to our email list. Uh, again, like us on Facebook, send friends to our Facebook. Please let people know about us. The only way to... Uh, keep us making good quality games is for us to keep customers and, and it really helps if we can expand our customer base. Um, I think that's about it for today. Again, thank you for the support on the hearts and minds. Uh, next time I'll maybe give you a little more tour of our new office facility, um, but we haven't got it decorated up yet. There's no pictures, obviously, a plain wall behind me and we'll get some other stuff and um, I'd like to do a video tour of our to print and plants and, and maybe let you all see how uh, the printing process and the die cutting and all of that is done because I wasn't aware until I got involved with producing games on that. Again, thank you. You all have a uh, great week. Maybe I'll see you in a week or two and do a new video update. Uh, Grant out.